Welcome back to Mars Horizon, folks. We are ready to start building our Mars Prep robotic rover. We can plan the mission. It's great support. It's good science. But most importantly, it's 25% Mars Prep readiness. So let's go ahead and plan the mission, and we will definitely be first. I am worried about the Mars Prep crewed rover. Japan has the mission, but it doesn't have, or has the science, but it doesn't have the mission planned. So hopefully we can do the science and then plan it before they can. So, all right, Rosalind Franklin will give it some extra power, of course. Uh... To, to help us with it. The payload reliability is 75%. 4.4 million. Wow. Well, let's build it. Eight months. Yeah, baby. We are sending the robotic rover. All right, next month. What month are we in? October. Uh, let's see. Let's take a look at diplomacy and see what everyone is doing. So they're researching Jupiter flyby. Their most recent by milestone was crewed moon landing, and they have no upcoming launches. That is horrendous. Uh, space plane runway was their is their current research. The most recent milestone is the Space Telescope. This is Soviet Union. And Neptune flyby is launching in three months. China uh, is researching Long March 9B. I guess that's a rocket. Uh, the most recent milestone is Modular Space Station 2. And their upcoming launch is a human in space. Okay. I guess that's a request mission. And then we have Japan, our, who are researching the Grand Tour. The X-ray telescope is their most recent milestone. And the Mars lander is going up in 10 months. All right. I actually want to see building this, the conference center. It costs 8,000 to research. But I might actually like that to try and get Japan up to being an ally. We're doing the SLS-1B and then we will do the crude rover research to try and beat Japan to it. All right, next month, Mars rover PR campaign proposed. Your PR office have proposed a publicity campaign based around your Mars rover, Rosalind Franklin. Part of the campaign will it will involve giving the general public the opportunity to submit, to submit their names to, the, to be taken to Mars. The name will be etched into a silicon plaque using an electron beam machine then attached to the rover. The PR team will believe the campaign could greatly increase public awareness of the mission. Let's fund that campaign. 200 grand. It's not too bad. Campaign improved. SLS Block 1B research is complete. A very large liquid fuel upper stage able to launch heavy payloads into Earth orbit and towards the inner planets. Okay. We are going with missions. Uh, let's see. That was the Pluto flyby. I would love to do the Pluto flyby, but I think it's more important that we keep progressing down towards our crewed Mars landing. I think that's more important. So let's just keep pushing to be first to do that, because that is the ultimate objective, right? All right, our missions. The Jupiter Orbiter is... Oh, that completes next month. Nice. And we'll do that first. The Uranus flyby we're doing first. We have... Thirty months until the next phase. Long time. Here we have seven months until the sample return, and we'll complete that. The impact analysis is launching in five months, and then we're prepping the robotic rover. Um, actually, 
The International Space Station is giving us 150 science and 50 support a month, a month until March 2012. So, yeah, we have a new mission at Ver Venus, a lightning survey. Nice science on that and good support. It's challenging, but it only takes five months for that. That's not bad. That's not bad. Oh, I forgot to click on it. All right, let's uh, continue on. Next phase of the Jupiter Orbiter. China completed phase two of Uranus flyby. But you're way behind on that, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So let's finish up our uh, Jupiter Orbiter. That's a lot of science that we'll be getting, which is nice. And some decent support. <sighs> I love Jupiter. All right, December 1990, phase three. Phase three, phase three. We need to deal with radiation. And we need 15, 20, and 15. 15 comms, 20 data, 15 nav. And wow. Radiation will be modified by between three and six at the start of next turn. Jesus. Jesus. And it's at six right now. So we basically need to do this. We have six turns, three commands per turn. So we're going to have to spend a lot of power on this one because we need to do a telecommand upload. Then we do need to do a precise sensor alignment and a orbital plane adjustment. And that still gives us radiation of 10%. So our reliability will go down significantly. But I just don't see another way of getting five. Um, ooh, that was close. Dang it. We'll resist that. And that takes us to four, so we need to do this one twice. That takes us to zero. And way up on the uh, nav, so we can do a lossless compression. And it takes us to zero, but we also have zero power. Oof. Let's do a recharge instead of that. All right, good. All right, how much do we get? Five. So we actually want to do that and that. Okay. So we'll do a lossless compression. Then we'll do a precise sensor alignment. And, and an... Oh, dang it. Can't recharge. Lossless compression. Precise sensor alignment. And atmospheric imaging. That takes us to zero. This is a tough one. Ooh, that was close. And we can't resist anything, can we? Nope. Accept that. And we'll have to accept that. And that takes our stability to 50%. And that goes back up to 5. Oh man. Man, oh man. Well, we'll do that.
Then we'll recharge the power once and use that power to do magnetic uh, mag magnetospheric imaging. Okay, we can't resist anything, so we just have to accept. And that takes. Ooh, seven radiation? Are you kidding me? But if we do this, then we can resist once and get our 50% bonus award. We'll risk it. Ooh! Uh, resist that. And that takes us there. Wow. That was close, guys. That was really, really close. We have 0% reliability, but we did it. <laughs> we did it. Uh, milestone achieved. Jupiter Orbiter first. And we get 3,000 support and 219 science for 26 months. Okay. I can live with that. And Jupiter Orbiter is complete. No one else even has the science. All right, cool. What's next? What's next? Um, the Uranus flyby is way off. There's six months until the next phase here. And the impact analysis launches in four months. So let's just see if there is a nice mission here. This one is reasonable. It's challenging, but we'll plan that mission. And we'll add some crew to that Gemini. Build that payload. And next month. Moon landing was faked. A popular new documentary series is claiming it contains sensational evidence that United Space Nerds faked the moon landing. Although a mountain of scientific evidence proves the contrary, large sections of the public have been swayed by the series. Lost 400 support. Bastards. Budget re review. We won't be getting any changes, but we did make a lot of progress. 11,631 support in a year. So we're less than 5,000 away from the next level. That's not bad. Ionospheric measurements. Ooh. Money actually wouldn't be bad. All right, next month. Okay, Soviet Union failed new Neptune flyby. Mm -hmm. All our astronauts return to active duty. China completed phase two of Uranus flyby. Phase one of Mercury orbit. Okay. So let's take a look at Mars redness. We're at 45%. China is second at 26. Then Japan at 25. Soviet Union at 23. And NASA is at 13. Man, NASA is just falling way, way behind. We'll be done with the crewed rover research next month. Then we need to research the payload. Mars prep crewed rover research complete. Having access to a human-rated rover on Mars would greatly aid our crew when it comes to exploring the planet and achieving their scientific objectives. This mission involves landing the rover on Mars ahead of the later crewed mission. All right. So our space welding vehicle is complete. And we will... Actually, let's see. Can't we 
do, yeah, we can do. I don't want composite cast. I don't want composite casings on this. I want. Uh, neutral event chance is converted to positive event chance. Let's do that. Three months. Refit shuttle. Okay, our research there was done. And then we need the crude rover. Payload, which is 9,600 science. Cost six million. Jesus Christ. All right, well, it is what it is. Let's launch our impact analysis module next month. Ooh, Galilean makeover. Observations from your Jupiter orbiter mission have shown that the surface of Io has dramatically changed since your previous Jupiter flyby mission due to extreme volcanic activity. Hundreds of active volcanoes have been observed caused by tidal heating as Io is pulled between Jupiter and its other moons, gained a thousand science. That is very nice. That is very nice. Let's go ahead and launch our impact analysis. And the weather is looking fine and dandy. 5% risk of critical failure. Let's not hit those 5%, please. We have ignition. We have liftoff. And we have cleared the tower. And go, rocket, go. Up, up, and away. Yeah, we are out of here. All right. And we got a positive event. Nice. Plus one turn on first task in mission. Nice. And they, those guys are just super reliable. Let's see. We need to deal with thrust and drift. We need... 8 com, 8 nav, 4 thrust. Our drift needs to be minus 1 to 1. It doesn't fluctuate or anything. So we basically just need to hit this once on the last turn. But we need to have a drift that is at least plus 2 here to do it. And we need to have 10 comms and just 7 nav. Okay. Okay, so hmm. how about we start with an infrared spectroscopy, then a ground control connection. We have five turns, three commands per turn. And then we can do solar flare analysis. That gives us one, one, and four. And puts our drift a little bit over the way that we want it. Nice. Uh, critical success on the first turn. All right, so then we can do a ground control connection, a data transmission, and a trajectory optimization. That gives us eight and five. That seems pretty good to me. We'll have to resist that. Nice, critical success. Right, so that gives us 8, 5, and 1. We don't have that much power on this one. Uh, we do need more data because I want to do this one. We can actually do it one more time if we want. Then next turn, 
we can do a data transmission and that'll get us there. Assist. Okay. Then we can do a data transmission and a controlled burn and a recharge. And that gives us our 50% bonus reward. It gives us the thrust that we need and everything. And it gives us two power to resist anything that could possibly go wrong. And it went wrong, so let's go ahead and resist that. And accept the controlled burn. And there we go. We are on our way. Beautiful. 296 support, 183 science for eight months. And we actually get almost 3,000 science next month, so that takes us up to over 6,000. That's not bad. That is not bad. Okay, so we have a mission over here, a request mission. A Martian Biological Experiments, together with the U.S. Astronauts will survive mission failure, including launch. Okay. But we don't really need more uh, diplomacy with NASA, because we are very, very good friends with NASA. All right, Rosalind Franklin is complete in two months, and the Beetlejuice is complete in two months. So let's continue on. And unless our science drops, we will complete this in two months. Let's see if our science drops. It will drop. It will drop quite significantly. Okay. And the next phase of the Mars prep. So we have three things going on next month. Rosalind Franklin is complete, Beetlejuice is complete, and the final phase of the Mars prep sample retrieval is done as well. So that is pretty cool. Mars prep robotic rover payload complete. Plus 25 support reward, plus 25% vehicle build costs. Okay. And the Beetlejuice is complete. Let's do the launch preparations for that. Uh, the payload isn't super reliable, but we have a bootstrapper. We have a scientist. And then we have a multinational. I think that's fine. Then we'll do science training. Uh, let's. I want to just want to see plus twenty five percent reputation award upon mission success. Yeah. A re reputation award. So is he only really useful on a joint mission? I think maybe he is. So let's bring the celebrities instead. Because this is support reward. This is reputation reward. So yeah, we'll bring the celebrity instead. And then we'll launch in November for the full boost. Go to solar system. Then we have the Mars Prep Robotic Rover. Let's see what we need for that the ariane 5 dcss or the ariane 6 1.1 million 1.3 million uh, six months seven months let's do the ariane 5 And then we can do the Ariane 5 here as well. And give it some boosters to make it more reliable. 78% reliability. 
What if we chose the Saturn V instead? That's 81%. Uh, the Saturn V is 1.912, 1.827. So I think we'll select this part. It's not that big of a difference. Then we can do an upgrade, which will be advanced guidance system. Neutral event chance is converted to positive event chance. That's 3.5, almost 3.6 million. It's pretty reliable. It's The payload is pretty reliable as well. So let's do it build that. That'll take one year for the happiness to be completed. Then we need to finish off our Mars prep sample retrieval. Final phase. Let's do it and do it first. Okay. Mars prep sample retrieval return. And we definitely need to deal with heat here. So we need 26 and 20, no, 25 and 25. And we get plus five heat in return. Wow. And we need to stay below five. All right. Well, what if we. Get one of these numbers. That gives us zero, six, and two. Then we can use two plus two power to get our heat down one more and get another ten. I like that. I like that. And then we can boost our transmission getting 6 and 13 and we're down to 3 heat I think that works for me we get an extra comms, nice and 2 extra nav, very nice then we do need to resist, but that's okay wow, we'll be reduced by 3 nav no let's resist that, ooh, and an extra comms again, nice so that took us to 8 and 15 and the heat will go way up to 8. But we can now do an orbit trim maneuver. Then we can do a mission control monitoring, taking our heat way down. That takes us to 10 and 20. Then we can do a boost of the transmission. And I think we'll boost the transmission again. 22 and 14. Yeah, that seems good to me. Mission control monitoring is all good. Boost transmission is wonderful. Uh, didn't really boost this time. Boosting it once was, it was enough, they thought. But we'll just resist it and still get our... Comms. That takes us up to 7 heat. So we need to do an orbit trim maneuver. Then we need to do a mission control monitoring. And then we need to do an orbit trim maneuver again. And a signal attenuation test. That almost gets us there. Our heat is at zero. We just need to do a signal attenuation test next turn. That's it. We'll resist that. Beautiful. It goes back up. You know what, let's do a boosting of the transmission and then an orbital uh, orbit trim maneuver and then recharge our power twice. That takes our heat to four within bounds. It takes us uh, 27 calm, 28 nav, 
50% bonus reward achieved. We have tons of power to resist anything. So let's do it. Nice. Finish it off with a critical success. And there we go. The probe is coming home. Beautiful. Phase 5 done. We got an extra 188 support for doing it first. And we've completed the challenge. So minus 50% missions research cost for three months. Nice. Uh, 1,550 support and 411 science for 24 months. Not bad. So this is definitely done. This is done already. Done. So let's continue on to next month, I guess. Mars crew rover research complete. An advanced rover capable of supporting human passengers and navigating the rugged terrain of Mars. Very nice. And we have this bonus to our research. So how about we do the lander. This is for two months, but we'll complete this in one month. And then we'll complete the... So... We have a new request mission here at Mercury. Mercurial history, experimental fuel. But, 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 but. We actually have the crewed rover now. So we have our Mars crewed rover here, research done here. So we can plan this mission. We do have a slot for it. I love it. And we do not want to reduce our payload reliability is only 65% Jesus 2.8 million let's do it build that puppy that is a beautiful looking rover all right that is a beautiful looking rover and go on to next month that completes that. Mars requirement. Send lander research complete. Oh, I want to look at uh, Mars readiness. Look at that. Mars prepara or preparation. 25%. And we're up to 55% on this. Nice. We are way, way, way ahead. I mean, China is at 28%. We're basically twice as far along as they are it's lovely let's do the crude lander we're almost done guys next month a vehicle component upgrade your engineers have identified a potential a component upgrade on the launch vehicle happiness for the upcoming Mars prep robotic rover mission. Approving the work would require 400,000 but would grant a 20% launch reliability improvement. Ha happiness's current is 78%. Let's do it. It's only 400 grand. So that takes us up to 98% launch reliability. Beautiful. And this now takes 10,400 science because we didn't do it in time. That kind of sucks. But it is what it is. What's our next uh, finish? First and two milestone missions. Reward 6 million. Not bad. Not bad. We will do that. Because if we take a look over at Mars here, we will finish first in the Mars uh, prep for robotic rover. We are already planning that mission. And for the Mars Prep Crew Rover, we are already planning that mission. So we should finish first in both of those and get 6 mil. Not bad at all. Alright, next month we are launching Space Welding. And in two months we have the next phase of the Impact Analysis. Lovely. 
absolutely lovely. That is awesome. That is just awesome. Cool, 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 cool. All right, but we will continue on in the next one, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.